Watch you guys got another video on how Windows updates can brick your laptop. What is brick your laptop mean? It basically means a Windows update can actually kill your laptop and make it non-functional. How is this happening? Well, modern day laptops like Asus and, uh, you know, Lenovo and other manufacturers will flash your BIOS or your firmware through Windows updates. This is very, very risky because if you think it's just a Windows update and stop the Windows update for any reason during that process, you will end up killing your laptop or bricking your laptop. You have to be super careful. So many people have not realized that an update through Windows updates can actually do that. I think this is a new uh, sort of problem that is going to arise for a lot of people and a lot of PC repair techs will see this in their workshop uh, where they've closed the lid down and it shut down the PC during a time where it's actually flashing the firmware. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to CD Key Sales and create yourself an account and then use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to all your purchases on CD Key Sales. You will get a 30% discount. Once you've done that, you can submit your order and use PayPal to pay for your purchases. Once you've done this, they will send you your key and you can then activate your version of Windows as quick as that. It's really quick and simple. Okay, so let's get back to the actual tutorial and I'm going to take you through the steps and show you. Now, on this Asus laptop, they have their own software, and so do Lenovo and a bunch of other manufacturers will have their own software where you can update all of the software and the drivers through here. This is also how you update your BIOS through this method as well. It's also important to mention you do not want to be on battery. You definitely want to be on a powered connection. Otherwise, if your battery dies during this process, you could end up with major problems. So system update here, when I click on system update, you'll see going through the Asus app, it's telling us that there is available updates for us. And there is one right there. It's a little bit blurry. Uh, I have to wait for that to focus, but it does say BIOS update uh, to, uh, for Windows. And it's going through the Windows update. Now, if I continue to update this through Windows, it will basically update my BIOS or my firmware for me via that method. Now, why is that such a risky method to do? Doing it like this, if you know what you're doing, you can see here system updates, BIOS update for Windows updates has been selected. Please read through the instructions below to make sure the update can be executed successfully. For BIOS updates following the system reboot, you may see an update in BIOS screen uh, similar to the one uh, shown above, and it will show you a picture there. So it is quite clear to the person that understands what they're doing. But if you don't understand what you're doing, you may be in a rush and can't wait and then shut down your laptop. And again, what will happen is you would end up bricking your laptop. Updating a BIOS through Windows updates will look something like this, and you will see something called firmware. This is what your BIOS is. So you have to be super careful in the modern day. It's not like going to your manufacturer's website with your old laptop and downloading the very latest BIOS from there and putting it onto a flash drive and flashing the BIOS, these new modern day laptops will have their own software like Asus, Lenovo and Dell and other manufacturers will flash their BIOS just like this through this uh, application. So you have to be mindful about what you're doing. These updates are more important now by flashing the BIOS this method because obviously if you're not aware and you do close down your laptop and shut it down, then you could end up with major problems like the laptop not working anymore, not booting. And you would then need to take that to a PC repair shop where they would then flash the BIOS for you with a special tool and they will take your BIOS out or they can try and do it in situ on the board and reprogram the BIOS itself to get it working again. Because the BIOS basically, without the BIOS, the laptop will be bricked, it won't work. It will be dead as a dodo. So you have to be very careful, okay? Now, I've seen quite a few posts on the internet where people have done this and they haven't realized it's a BIOS update and they have shut down their laptop and it's caused major problems and their laptop is not working anymore. So if you do that, what's going to happen if you power it off at a time when you're not supposed to power it off, it will literally 
uh, brick the motherboard in that laptop. It's not going to work. So what this is doing right now is actually a BIOS update. And we can see, we can see the actual uh, desktop right there. We can see the actual desktop of our Windows operating system. And this can be quite confusing, especially if you don't realize it's flashing your BIOS. So we are in a sort of state where it's doing this for us. And this can do this uh, via the Windows updates as well. Now, I'm pretty sure that you will need to have power uh, plugged into the laptop for it to actually carry out a BIOS update. I don't think these laptops will allow you to flash the BIOS on battery power. I'm pretty sure I've tried this before and it's notified me to tell me to plug in the power adapter uh, to flash the BIOS. So bear that in mind, uh, but some of them might not. And also you need to be careful that you don't remove the power after the fact while it's uh, going through its uh, BIOS update process. So this is all done now. I'm going to quickly restart the system and reboot the laptop back up to the desktop. Now, once this is rebooted, you should see something looking like this. Firmware update. Windows updates will update the BIOS after 60 seconds. The update will take a few minutes. Please be patient. If the BIOS update fails, the system cannot be turned on. You can press the power button to turn on the system and press Control R to continuously start restart the BIOS recovery process to repair the system by updating the BIOS again. This means you're going to be trying to reflash the BIOS again. And if we look down there, the current BIOS version is 203, and we're going to be reflashing this BIOS with the new version of 205. And you can see that listed there in the grayed out area down there. So it's telling us now, computer, do not turn off updating the ASUS firmware. So again, you might not have wanted to update your BIOS, but that um, sort of privilege has been taken away from you by these manufacturers now, and it will literally flash the BIOS during this software update process or Windows update process. And uh, you can opt out of it. You can basically opt out of flashing your BIOS all the time, but these modern day laptops do like to have the latest BIOS update for them. So if you want to see a video on how to uh, disable that feature let me know in the comment section below i'll be happy to make that video for you now the good side of this is there is an actual recovery area here you can see just where i've selected right there on the screen it says system recovery and my asus so they do have a recovery option to try and recover the system back if the bios uh, fails or you turn it off or something there is a chance of trying to recover it here but there's no guarantees that that will work and you have to be super careful not to turn it off. So it is going through its process here now. And uh, thank God there is an actual uh, sign on the screen telling you not to turn it off. I'm not sure if this is the case if you went through the Windows updates process, whether you get this do not turn off your computer. Maybe you do. Some people just ignore that and just shut the laptop down. Maybe they have the shutdown on the lid when you close it and they close the lid down and it shuts the laptop down if that is the case you're going to be shutting that laptop down at a time where you don't want to be shutting it down anyway i hope this video has been some sort of help to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you have a lovely weekend guys just want to say a quick shout out to my youtube members i appreciate the support i'll catch you in the next one or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat bye for now